This is the story of the scary Mount Spur eruption of 1992, a volcano 80 miles west of Anchorage, which erupted in a cataclysmic explosion that would change the lives of thousands. This disaster occurred right after the peak of the solar maximum of the cycle number 22. Isn't that a strange coincidence? Mainly because we are at maximum solar number 25 now. Also after the peak, it's when the majority of the worst coronal mass ejections usually occur. Those explosions of plasma, when strong enough, can trigger earthquakes and volcanoes according to many scientific studies. But extreme events can wipe out an entire civilization. It happened in the past and it will happen again. But first you better be aware of what's happening today. Mount Spur, a volcano located near Anchorage, Alaska, is currently showing alarming signs that it could erupt at any moment. Over the past 10 months, scientists have recorded a chilling series of small earthquakes beneath its surface, indicating that something is definitely brewing. Mount Spur sits within the volatile Aleutian Arc, an area notorious for its seismic activity, and the recent tremors have raised the concerns of the Alaska Volcano Observatory. These disturbances may be an indication that magma is moving towards the surface, creating tension and uncertainty for those living nearby. In addition to the earthquakes, experts have observed significant ground deformation around the volcano. David Fee, a leading scientist with the observatory, explains that as magma rises, it causes the ground to swell. This swelling is a direct response to the fluids accumulating beneath the surface, and it is a key sign that an eruption could be imminent. The situation is further complicated by the emergence of a small lake within the crater, which has recently shown signs of heating. Gas emissions and rising water temperatures are abnormal occurrences that cannot be ignored. They signal that activity is increasing beneath the surface and that an eruption may not be far off. The sun hangs high over Anchorage, Alaska, casting a golden glow over the city. It's a quiet Sunday afternoon, and the streets are alive with the hum of summer. Families are out enjoying the rare warmth, kids are riding bikes, and the smell of barbecues fills the air. But beneath the surface, something is stirring. Mount Spur, a dormant giant 80 miles to the west, has been rumbling for weeks. Scientists at the Alaska Volcano Observatory, AVO, have been monitoring the volcano closely. Small earthquakes have been detected, and steam has been seen rising from its summit crater. The news reports are cautious but reassuring. No immediate threat, they say. Still, the scientists are on edge. They've seen this before, the quiet before the storm. In Anchorage, life goes on as usual. People are more concerned about the upcoming 4th of July celebrations than a volcano they've barely heard of. Mount Spur isn't like Mount St. Helens or Mount Redoubt. It's not a household name, but that's about to change. The tremors are getting stronger. At the AVO, seismographs are picking up more frequent and intense earthquakes. The scientists issue a warning. Mount Spur is showing signs of increased activity. Residents should stay informed and prepare for possible ashfall. In Anchorage, the warning is met with a mix of curiosity and skepticism. Some people stock up on supplies, masks, water, and food just in case. Others brush it off. It's just a little steam, they say. Nothing to worry about. But the scientists know better. They've seen the data. The magma is rising. The question isn't if the volcano will erupt, but when. The air feels heavy, almost electric. The skies are clear, but there's a sense of unease. The AVO has upgraded the alert level to orange, indicating that an eruption is likely. Flights in and out of Anchorage are being rerouted as a precaution. In the small town of Talkeetna, just north of Anchorage, a group of hikers is preparing to climb Mount Spur. They've been planning this trip for months, and they're not about to let a little seismic activity stop them. It's probably nothing, one of them says. We'll be fine. But as they set up camp at the base of the volcano, they can't ignore the low, rumbling growl coming from deep within the earth. It's like the mountain is alive, breathing, waiting. The sun rises over Anchorage, casting a soft pink light over the city. It's a beautiful morning, but the tranquility is short-lived. 
At 7.04 a.m., the ground shakes violently. The seismographs at the AVO go haywire. Mount Spur has erupted. A massive column of ash and smoke shoots 14 kilometers, 45,000 feet, into the sky. The explosion is heard for miles, a deafening roar that echoes across the Alaskan wilderness. The ash cloud is visible from Anchorage, a towering plume of gray and black that seems to blot out the sun. The ash cloud begins to drift eastward, carried by the wind. Anchorage is directly in its path. The city is thrown into chaos. Schools are closed, businesses shut down, and the streets are filled with people scrambling to get home. The AVO issues an urgent warning. Stay indoors. Avoid breathing the ash. Cover your nose and mouth if you must go outside. The ash is fine and abrasive, capable of damaging lungs, engines, and electronics. The first wave of ash hits Anchorage. It's like a snowstorm, but darker, heavier. The sky turns an eerie shade of orange as the ash blocks out the sunlight. Cars are abandoned on the side of the road, their engines clogged with ash. People huddle inside their homes, listening to the radio for updates. In Talkeetna, the hikers are in trouble. The ash is falling thick and fast, reducing visibility to near zero. They try to make their way back to their vehicles, but the ash is so deep that it's like walking through quicksand. One of them collapses, coughing violently. The others drag him to safety, but they know they're running out of time. The ash fall intensifies. In Anchorage, the weight of the ash is causing roofs to collapse. Power lines are down, and the city is plunged into darkness. The airport is closed, stranding thousands of travelers. At the AVO, the scientists are working around the clock. They're tracking the ash cloud, trying to predict where it will go next. The eruption is far from over. The volcano is still spewing ash and gas into the atmosphere. The hikers are rescued by a search and rescue team. They're exhausted, covered in ash, but alive. They're taken to a hospital in Anchorage, where they're treated for ash inhalation. In the city, the ash fall begins to taper off. The sky is still dark, but the worst seems to be over. People venture outside, wearing masks and goggles, to assess the damage. The streets are buried under several inches of ash, and the air smells of sulfur. The sun sets, but the sky remains dark. The ash cloud has spread across much of southern Alaska, disrupting air travel and causing widespread damage. The AVO warns that more eruptions are possible. Mount Spur is still active, and no one knows what it will do next. The cleanup begins. In Anchorage, crews work through the night to clear the streets and restore power. The ash is everywhere, on cars, rooftops, and in the air. People wear masks to protect themselves as they shovel the ash into piles. The airport remains closed, and flights are cancelled across the region. The economic impact is significant, with businesses losing millions of dollars in revenue. At the AVO, the scientists are analyzing data from the eruption. They estimate that Mount Spur released over 100 million cubic meters of ash into the atmosphere. It's one of the largest eruptions in Alaska's history, and it's not over yet. The 4th of July celebrations are cancelled. Instead of fireworks, the skies over Anchorage are filled with ash. The city is still recovering, but there's a sense of resilience. People are coming together to help each other, to rebuild. Mount Spur is quiet for now, but the scientists are watching. They know that this is just the beginning. The volcano has awakened, and it's not done yet. The 1992 eruption of Mount Spur was a wake-up call for Alaska. It reminded everyone of the power of nature and the importance of being prepared. Predicting the exact timing of an eruption remains complex. Experts stress that there is currently a 50 to 50 chance for an eruption to occur. Though the exact timing is uncertain, previous volcanic events could serve as a guide to anticipate what might happen. Changes in temperature, increased gas emissions, and altered water conditions would likely precede any explosive activity. 
Such warnings escalate the need for continuous monitoring as scientists utilize their understanding from past eruptions to keep a close watch on Mount Spur's behavior. For residents and authorities in the surrounding areas, the potential for an eruption poses serious implications. While there are currently no nearby communities at high risk, the possibility of an eruption still raises alarm. Casualties and destruction can occur without warning, making it crucial for emergency services to be on high alert. The landscape surrounding Mount Spur could change dramatically in an instant, presenting emerging threats not just to wildlife, but to the delicate ecosystems that flourish in its shadow. The situation at Mount Spur serves as a stark reminder of the unpredictable nature of volcanic systems. As local scientists and geologists continue to monitor this activity, the urgency for preparedness grows. While we might currently feel safe, the truth is that nature can be both beautiful and destructive. As updates occur, residents should remain informed and ready to act should conditions change, allowing them to safeguard not just their lives, but also their communities from the fiery wrath of an erupting volcano.